Can progesterone cause nausea? And the fact is yes. And we know it does to a certain degree um, during the cycle. But first, let's talk about progesterone itself. So progesterone is a hormone that's produced during the luteal phase. It's produced from the corpus luteum after ovulation and rises rapidly during the luteal phase. Then around day 21, it drops and then menstruation happens. If you have conceived, your body will continue to produce progesterone from the corpus luteum for the next three months. And then after that, the placenta will produce a progesterone to support the fetus, hold on to the fetus and protect it. Progesterone also regulates the immune system as well. And that has an impact on nausea as well. So during your cycle, when progesterone starts to rise in the luteal phase, some women, untoward to them or unnoticed to them, experience nausea. And this nausea can be caused by progesterone. It can be caused by other things during the cycle, and I'll just touch on those first. So the rising hormones during your luteal phase can have a big impact on your gallbladder function and your liver function. So if your gallbladder and liver are not functioning um, brilliantly or they're sluggish then what might happen is they start to downregulate, they back up and that can cause nausea that's kind of like that early morning nausea before eating and another issue that can happen is blood sugar regulation so when your blood glucose drops dramatically that can cause issues and that can cause nausea as well. So this is why it's really important to regulate your eating during your luteal phase and make sure you're having three meals a day and you're having snacks. Any withholding food, maybe not eating in the morning, can cause that nausea. So those are two important factors that can go on. Now, in terms of progesterone, a few things that progesterone can cause which can cause nausea. Progesterone has a huge impact on your digestive system. In fact, it can cause some negative symptoms that women don't realize. Progesterone can slow down the digestive process. It can slow down gastric acid secretions. The re reason it can do that is because of this high progesterone um, can suppress some of the hormones that cause gastric acid secretions. One of them, say, being histamine. Progesterone causes more hormone that can, that can suppress the histamine, so we've got that. We've also got the fact that progesterone can have a huge impact on the colon and the gut itself. Progesterone can cause the junctions in the gut to open, causing leaky of the gut. This can cause a slowdown, this can cause constipation, which can again cause nausea. That can happen. Another thing that can happen is because it slows all of this down, food tends to sit more in the stomach, so it stays in the stomach and that can cause nausea as well. So everything slows down, constipation might occur, gastric juices are suppressed, and then we've got this more food in the stomach. And this more food in the stomach might not only cause nausea, but can cause reflux as well. And for some women, this is a, this is a really severe side effect. For some women, it can cause vomiting. So if you experience nausea, if you experience heartburn, if you experience constipation, if you experience wind, if you experience non-stop vomiting, track it. Track it and I expect you'll be able to track it back to your cycle in your luteal phase. These are just some of the things that progesterone can cause if it's too high or sensitive prone individuals. So the first place we need to start when we're looking at progesterone or when we're looking at nausea, we need to have a look at the root cause, okay? So progesterone on its own can cause nausea, but then we need to go one step back and we need to have a look at the root cause. So the root cause, is it liver or gallbladder support that you need? Maybe it's digestive enzymes and gastric acid support that you need to help the food go through. Or maybe it's actually um, working on the acid reflux, the heartburn, the food that's sitting in the stomach. That could be a root cause. Then we need to go back one stage further, back again, and we need to have a look at foods. Because if you're eating foods that you're sensitive to, that your body is sensitive to during your luteal phase, you're actually going to have you're going to be hyper aware in your luteal phase. For example, if you're sensitive to dairy, 
and you eat it through your whole cycle. During your, your follicular phase and your period, you might feel fine. But if you're sensitive to dairy and you eat it in your luteal phase, this is gonna slow your digestion down more, more likely to cause constipation, and you're more likely to have leaky gut um, symptoms like um, re bloating, um, diarrhea, constipation, and wind. So you need to track your diet and you need to make sure you're not having foods that you're sensitive to, particularly in your luteal phase, because that is going to flare things up for you big time. Lastly, you want to have a look at your immune system, because it's the immune system as well that can trigger nausea. So when we get pregnant, progesterone rises. And what this does is this suppresses part of your immune system. This is why during pregnancy, a lot of your immune system related issues can go away. We've got keratosis pilaris, we've got sinus um, hay fever, um, sinus infections, any, any inflammatory conditions, they can go away during pregnancy. The same is during your cycle in your luteal phase. As progesterone rises, it might suppress part of your immune system, which means other things start to arise, other things crop up. And one of those things can be that in that lowered immune system, that you're more sensitive to parasites, bacteria and fungi during that time in your luteal phase. So if you've got parasite in the digestive system and you come into your luteal phase, then you're, it's more likely that it might flare up. Another thing to be aware of are foods that can cause nausea. So you're more likely to be sensitive to bacteria on foods during that time in your cycle. So this is raw meat. This is meat that's been left out, cold meat like salamis, um, sushi, any meat that might have bacteria on, you're actually more likely to be sensitive to it and have a vomiting episode, have a nausea episode and have a diarrhea episode. So these are the things you need to watch out for. So the, the, best, the best advice I can give you in terms of progesterone causing negative side effects digestively during your luteal phase is just to start to support yourself during that phase. The first being digestive enzymes. The second being taking something like B6 that supports the process of creating digestive enzymes and making acid in your stomach. And the third being cutting out foods that you know that you're sensitive to. So these foods could be raw and cold meats. Maybe meat, have you ever experienced in your luteal phase going off meat? You actually just want cooked food, cooked soups. That's your body. That's your body responding. So listen to your intuition during that time. If you're off meat, you're off um, anything that might be causing a bacterial issue in your body, then I would listen to your body and just have cooked foods, just have cooked foods and soups. But during your luteal phase is the time in your cycle when you need to be aware of the foods that cause a reaction. So maybe you need to be off gluten, off dairy, off almonds or off soy, um, off raw meats or raw fishes, these kind of foods, and just have light soups and stews during that time. So these are the things that can cause nausea. And it can be normal, but when you get to this excessive nausea, that's when things are actually going wrong in the body and maybe your body's reacting to progesterone in an over, 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 um, overemphasized way and your immune system is also responding to um, progesterone in an overemphasized way. So have a look at the root cause, but definitely enzymes, B6, and cut out foods that you know cause problems during your luteal phase.